Welcome to channel folks. Today we'll be talking about a little bit of uh, water and diesel fuel tanks folks. You're standing here right now inside of my 300 gallon fuel, fuel rig set up here inside of a containment unit. Today we'll be talking about the Kimtech tank dryers. Uh, I keep one in the tank at all the time. I keep a couple on the shelf here. They're basically a big tampon in there uh, and it soaks up the water out of the diesel. Uh, from time to time, you need to put one in there. These are great. You can get them at Big R for I think $10.99. Sometimes when they're on sale for four bucks. But uh, we're gonna pull this sucker out here and I'll show you what it looks like. I put it in here last week. Uh, normally, if you got a lot of water, you check it within an hour. Uh, and it soaks up, so you don't have much water in there at all in this tank. It's not bad at all. And that's how long it is, folks. And there's just a little bit right here. I can see a little darker right here. But this thing will swell up. Um, I normally don't have much water in my fuel tank. Uh, but I've seen them online get real big. Uh, almost so big you can't get out of your fuel connection hookup. Uh, these things work great. There's a fiberglass rod inside there. And basically it just drops down inside the tank. I'm going to put it back on in the tank because... Uh, there's no need to pull it out. You want to pull it out if it's completely swelled up. Um, I do treat all my fuel with standine diesel treatment in there. Uh, and then just tie it off. You want to, not too much slack. Um, you don't want too much slack that it uh, interferes, interferes uh, with your uh, pickup tube on your pump. Uh, so I just put it down and give it an extra four inches and it lays flat on the bottom of my 300 gallon fuel tank. And then you just tie it off to your lid. Uh, these things are great. Stumbled across to them online. Uh, all my filters. I use a goldenrod. Uh, let's see if you can see this here. I got a goldenrod uh, uh, particulate filter that I can drain from, and then I use the Kimtech uh, the water separator in front of it too. Also, so I use two filters. Um, as you can see, I've installed that at 812 to 17, and it's uh, it's not even full yet. Uh, and this is, I got this last year in uh, October, so it was getting ready to be on, right on there with the uh, winter grade fuel uh, that I always treated and all that. But these filters, dryers are the best you could buy. I mean, it's that in combo with what I got here. Try to keep zero, uh, zero water out of your fuel with these new uh, equipment with the high uh, pressure common rails and all that. So yeah, don't fuck around, folks. Don't just get diesel fuel and just think you're good to go. Because you'll have fucking water in that shit. Uh, so, yeah, I try not to because uh, equipment nowadays is expensive unless you got a bunch of old dinosaur shit that'll run on fucking dirt, you know. But the uh, only thing I got that's older, but it's still common rail, is my Duramax. And all of our equipment, it's all running high pressure common rail pretty much for the majority part. So, you can't really run a bunch of junk in that. So, fuel's so refined nowadays. So, I figured I'd share that with you guys, uh, and that, and uh, make sure you hit the likes button, subscribe, thank you.